Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a quick video um, going into this first module. Um, so a lot of students struggle with this first module and I, I think the main reason uh, is probably going to be just kind of general like lack of familiarity with like navigating Linux in like any sort of kind of intuitive or, or, or you know meaningful way, right? And, like what I mean by that is, you know, when you're dealing with a GUI, you know, everyone knows to right click on something or to like click on the search bar and type in a search term if they're looking for something. But um, once you get into the terminal, you're, you know, you're, you're hit with these kind of like esoteric commands like, you know, find and, you know, you got to dig through all the syntax and everything. So I just wanted to show a couple, a couple things, kind of tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way after doing this for a while um, and basically you only need three things to kind of um, you know be able to really navigate uh, Linux right the first one uh, is the apropos command um, so if you can remember that so apropos but it's also the same as man tack K um, the second thing is going to be uh, the locate command um, and then the, the third thing is the ability to read man pages and, and help prompts. Okay. So, you know, let's say, let's see, um, you've got, you've got some zip file or something like that on Linux, you know, and you're like, man, how do I go about unzipping this? Or, you know, uh, God forbid you've got a dot tar file and you're like, man, I don't even know where to begin with it a tar file, right? Well, the apropos command, um, as long as man tack K, what they're going to do is they're going to search for a keyword out of all the descriptions in the man pages. So let's just say I, I need networking stuff, right? So I'm just going to do apropos net. And now I'm going to get a list of commands that have the, the keyword net in either the name of the command or in the description uh, inside of their man page, right? That's kind of a broad one, so let's go a little bit shorter. Let's do apropos zip, all right? Cool, look at all that. You know, b unzip, um, b zip to, here's gun zip. Uh, let's do apropos tar, right? Um, you know, and then, you know, there's tar, right? Um, along with everything else that has tar. Um, so that, that command, what that command is going to give you is the, I don't know what the heck commands I ha have on the system and I don't know, you know, what to use or what's available to me. So that'll just help you start being able to find what commands are exposed to you. Right. So the second thing that I said was the locate command. Um, so it might not be installed by default. And if it isn't, you're just going to do sudo apt install locate. Um, and I should already have it, so it might just tell me, right? So locate comes with um, kind of like a companion command, update db. And you're going to have to sudo that. And basically what that's going to do is just index your file system, right? Um, so I'm going to let that run. It's pretty quick. It's way faster than Windows if you've ever tried to use a search feature in Windows. Um, and then, like, I don't know, like, maybe I have a file, some, like, it could be a file, a program, something, like, you know, like, I don't know, locate magic. Well, here's everything with the word magic on my system. Um, and then you can start narrowing this kind of stuff down, um, you know, based off of where it's probably going to be located or, you know, um, again, like maybe you just forgot a, 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 like a full file name, but you knew it had a keyword in it, right? So apropos with keywords is going to get you a list of commands. Locate using update DB to index your stuff is going to get you files. Um, and then now kind of the, the, the last thing of Linux is, you know, the ability to read, right? So let's just say, um, you know, in this first come, you know, this first assignment coming up, you know, you're going to be asked to, you know, well, you need to, you know, find the command in order to do this. 
um, Linux command like tools are really robust in what they do. They're they're really, the philosophy is hey let's make one simple tool that does uh, tool that does something really well. And there's almost always attack H or attack tack help um, off of every command. And if there's not, you can always just hit it with the man page, right? So let's just say I need to untar a file, you know, and I used you know my apropos command with tar. I found tar here um, this little number one is what man page it's on um, so if it's on one you can usually omit it but just for the sake of this I'm just gonna hit it with man one tar and now I'm in the manual page for tar right so in, when you're going into this first um, this first assignment you know you need to make use of these things you need to read the man pages um and that's not just you know the in the instructor staff being you know um mean or not wanting to you know put in any extra work it's just that any um you know it professional computer science professional software engineering professional ever had to finally learn the hard lesson of man i just need to read the man pages um so hopefully this helps you out going into the first module um and if you have any you know questions um you know please feel free to to reach out and or any uh, ideas for um more videos like this so thanks